guys and welcome to another episode of Dirty Dirt Fishing. I am going back out on the ice today, hopefully to catch some big largemouth and some big crappie and some big bluegill. Guys, I made it to the ice and I saved you all the boring parts and I set everything up already and um, I just want to show you guys what I got. Look at my new ice shelter and my new sled. I picked both these up for $130 and I love them both. I've already been inside my new ice shelter and it's already so warm in there. It's awesome. Let me just give you a quick little tour of my ice shelter. I bought this ice shelter for only a hundred dollars so for a hundred dollars I think this is sweet and the roof is all black so that will absorb all the heat from the Sun and it'll make it really really warm in there it's only about 15 16 degrees out right now but since the Sun's out it really feels like 30 so I really don't even need it today but I just figured since I bought it, I would bring it and I love it. I got with me five tip-ups today and one jigging rod. Hopefully I can catch some big fish today. Oh, tip-up right next to me. Let's see what I have. Got him. Got him. Nice. First fish of the day. Just a little bass, but I've been here like 10 minutes. I was still doing my intro when I caught this guy. Huh, I have another tip up behind the camera. I need to go get it. Come on, let go. All right, there goes the bass. I need to get my other tip up. Let's go! Oh, he's on, he's on. I got him. Oh, and he spit. No. No. He was on for one second. Didn't feel that big though, so let's just drop the shiner back down in the hole and Hopefully I'll catch another one. All right guys, that was two tip ups in a matter of like one minute. It was really het hectic there for a second. I was trying to unhook that one bass while the other tip up went off and I couldn't unhook it. So I started like freaking out thinking I was gonna lose the other bass, but <laughs> unhooked this one, went to the other one and it popped off. I think it was just like a crappie or something. It literally didn't feel that big at all. One went off and then one went off right after that one. So hopefully that's a good sign for today and I hook into a lot of fish. Tip, tip. I got a tip. Hopefully he's on. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Nice one. Can you see how good that is? If you look down its mouth, the shiner is all the way down in there. He inhaled oh. my little shiner. Can we um, feel it? Oh, yeah. Can I feel it? Yeah. Just let me get this hook out real oh. quick. Oh, I felt it. <laughs> It. Just slimy. I feel like just... Oh. I don't see like eyeballs, but. Oh, eyeballs don't have eyelids like yeah. ours, so. Whoa! Alright, guys, got another tip up, and it's a nice fish this time. 
Look at the size of this one. Not giant, but it's a good start for the day. And I got some kids helping me today. <laughs> They're a big help so far. Now, let's release him. Back he goes. All right guys, since I only brought a hand auger today, well, I really only have a hand auger, the ice here is like 12 inches thick. So it is a really big pain to drill holes by hand. So where I'm at today is basically where I'm gonna stay all day long. I'm really not gonna move spots. It would just be too much drilling. And I am already tired from running to three flags. So today is gonna be a long, tiring day. But I can't complain, because as long as I'm running after fish, it'll be all right. All right, I finally made it inside my ice shelter. Finally got a hole drilled. I've been busy drilling holes, catching fish. Really haven't had time to sit down and relax yet. So right now, I don't think I'm gonna fish. I think I'm just gonna sit and relax for a couple minutes, take a breather. Cause I have a feeling I'm gonna be doing a lot of running today. Alright guys, I picked up some ice fishing jigs the other day, and I just want to show you this one that I have. I don't know if you guys can see that real well, but this jig literally looks like a fly. It's not a fly, it's like a 132nd ounce jig head for ice fishing, but I think the colors on it, how flashy it is, is going to catch me a lot of fish. I know I shouldn't hype up things, but... Man, I really think this is going to catch a lot of fish. This is my first drop of the day on this jig head. Figuring how deep it is. Alright, I'm at the bottom. Seems to be about 8 feet deep. Now I like to bring it probably like a foot off the bottom just because if there's any like weeds down at the bottom I really don't, ooh I already have a hit, I already got one, oh my goodness, <laughs> look at the size of this bluegill, oh my goodness I just dropped down there like 10 seconds ago, oh my god, this is a beautiful bluegill. If I can get a good grip on him and show you guys. This is a beautiful bluegill. Look at that. Look at the colors on it. Look at that red. I've never seen more of a beautiful bluegill in my life. And I know some of you guys would be like, wow, it's just a bluegill there. Relax. But look at this thing. But look at this thing. That thing is beautiful. Now, I'm thinking about doing a catch and cook, but I can't kill this guy. This guy's just too pretty. So, I think I picked the right spot. Literally, that was the first drop, a foot off the bottom. I was still talking to you guys, like, five seconds into my drop, and he hit it. So, I think I found a good spot. I think I found good jig heads. That was awesome. Hopefully, I can catch some paper mallows, though some big ones. I know some of you aren't going to believe me when I say this, but no joke, I was here during the spring and I'm pretty sure I saw a two pound crappy, at least a two pound crappy. It literally looked like a dinner plate swimming underneath the water. Like at first I thought it was like a three pound bass, but it was just too short and fat and I realized, oh I got another one. Oh my goodness. This one looks like a female bluegill, a little less color, but still big. And I, I can't believe I picked a random spot in this pond. This pond's not small, by the way. And I'm just catching fish. I'm just dropping down there and immediately catching fish. I'm just gonna put them back. I'm not even gonna really show you. This is, oh. All right. Now this bluegill is probably a female just because it's less colorful, a little bit smaller, but uh, let's put it back. That's awesome. So, I really could be doing a catch and cook. The thing is though, I really don't like killing fish, and I brought chips today. 
So that could be my lunch. But if I get hungrier and chips aren't really satisfying me, I think I will do a catch and cook because clearly I can be catching some bluegill and eating them, but I, don't, I just don't like killing things. Alright guys, I took a quick break from being inside my ice shelter just because it's getting so hot in there. I kind of overdressed. Like, I have no heater in there, but it's, uh, it says on the box, like, solar heated. So I think that's why it has that black roof to absorb all the sunlight. And it, it really gets hot in there quick. So right now I'm just going to take a little bit of a break outside the tent, just relax a little bit. All I'm saying guys is this jig head is living up to the hype. Just look at those sparkly colors on it. I've dropped around twice and caught fish in about 5 to 10 seconds. I really like this fishing jig. Alright guys, got it all tipped up. Now let's drop it down to the bottom. Oh, got one. Feels a little bit bigger. That's why it feels a little bit bigger. Look at this catch. This could be my personal best weed. Whoa, it just keeps going. This is my personal best weed. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it just keeps going. All right guys, you know I'm totally kidding. Don't want this thing in the tent. Look how long this is. I'd say it's almost four feet tall. That is nothing though. The weeds at this pond in the summer grow huge. Probably twice the size of that, twice as thick too. So this pond is very weedy in the summertime, so it's very weedy in the wintertime too. And it looks like I just put my jig a little bit too far down and I got hooked up on one of the branches. All right guys, I'm just gonna drop it back down in there just for the hell of it. I know I'm not gonna catch anything. I literally just took the cover that the bluegill were hiding on so, it's probably not any fish down there. Just kidding. That was just a bite. Oh my god, I didn't destroy this hole. That's another bite. Oh no. I think he took my wax or Yep, he took it. <laughs> That's sick. I thought I destroyed this hole by pulling out that big four foot weed, but... There's a fish down there that wants it. Maybe it, it was kind of like the opposite and it stirred up all like the micro invertebrates which stirred up all like the tiny fish which is stirring up all the bluegill and I'm going to be catching all the bluegill. Hopefully that two pound crappie. That's, I know some of you don't believe is in here but I'm telling you I saw at least a two pound crappie. I would safe to say two and a half pound crappie. Come on. There's definitely fish down there to be caught, and they want it. Got him. Nice. Looks like a small little female bluegill. I'm only calling it a female just because it doesn't really have very bright colors. Like that first sunfish I caught, like that thing had very bright, vibrant colors. That's why I think that one was a male, but let's just put this one back. Got him. Another bluegill. But look at the purple. Ow. On this one. I really... Stop, 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 stop. I really hope my camera is picking this up, but... Look how beautiful these bluegill are. Every single one of them, too. Even the females are brightly colored. I really hope I got that on GoPro. I mean, sorry, not GoPro on my camera. The thing just jumped back out of the hole. And now it's playing dead at the top of the hole. There's a bite. Got him. Ooh, this is a big female. 
really hope my camera is picking up how purple these bluegill are. That is awesome. I could sit here and catch bluegill like this all day. And some of you are probably like, they're just bluegill, not a big deal, but I don't know. Those are some awesome looking bluegill, especially that first one I caught. I've never seen a bluegill like that. That was awesome. And I'm using my new bob house to catch all these bluegill, which is even more awesome. Today has been an awesome day already. If you guys look close enough, that is where the water line once was. Now, it's about around here. Like even under this ice right here, there isn't even water. This ice is above solid ground. Oh, tip, tip right behind me. I must have just went off. I just looked at it. Let's get it. Oh, he's on. Got him. Oh yeah, feels a little bit bigger. Oh, that's because it's a pickerel. There we go. Alright, hook's out. Pickerel's all safe. Let's put it back. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys what I mean. This is my hook right here. And um, this hook was around the pickerel's gill. So what I had to do was put my finger around the hook and I flipped it like this. And then I just pulled the hook out through the gill and um, he was still like attached through the line. So I just needed to cut the line and I didn't have scissors or anything. So I just used his teeth and I cut the line, so that pickerel has no hook in him. He's gonna survive another day. That's just one tip you can do. Um, I've seen people just yank it out and rip gills out, which is completely stupid, but whatever. But that's a completely safe way of doing it. Now I just need to retie the hook. Guys, same flag. I was just here rebaiting this one. He's on. Oh, he's on. Got him. Wow, he was running for so long. Good bass. That is a good bass. Probably, I don't know, a pound and a quarter maybe. All right, guys. Look at this, it's been slow for a little bit, but I just picked up this probably 1.8 pound bass. I'd say one and three quarters, this is a nice bass. All right guys, so I turned off my camera to set up my tip ups and look what you guys missed again. But this time it is a big bass. Look at that. That is a big bass. Like, look at this beast. That is what I'm talking about. That is why I go ice fishing right here. That was sick. Not quite scale worthy, but man, these tip ups right now are on fire. I hate that my camera died right now. I was using it when like everything was kind of dead, just getting like, I don't know, videos of anything, like trees and stuff. And um, when it died, that is when the tip-ups started going. I can't even set up all my tip-ups anymore without one going off. It's crazy right now. Guys, another tip-up, another tip-up. This time my camera's charged enough I can bring it along with me. Oh, this is a good one. Oh my god. Guys, this is a good fish. Good fish. No! It's a big pickerel. That's not what I wanted. This was definitely by far 
the hardest fighting fish I've caught so far through the ice. It's a decent sized pickerel, but it's really not what I'm looking for. I really thought this was a big bass. <laughs> I'm not really that disappointed though. It is probably a pound and a half pickerel, almost two pounds. So it is a fat pickerel, but not what I'm looking for. Let's put it back. All right, another fish down. Let's go re-up. Got him. Little bluegill. <clears throat> another little bluegill. I've been catching bluegill all day today. About this size, a little bit bigger actually, but still a pretty sweet looking bluegill. I'm just tipping this little jig head with a wax worm and that's doing all the damage. I showed you guys this jig head earlier and I think it's awesome looking and it's working so well today. But that's not to say another jig head wouldn't work just as well, but today this is working great. Watch this. I'll send it down to the bottom. It's about, I don't know, seven, eight feet to the bottom. And then I'll probably reel it up about a foot. And then we just sit and wait. Like that. Fish on. Another bluegill. Same size as all the other ones. This one actually is a little bit more colorful. This one actually, that one was actually a lot colder than all the other ones. I've been sitting here doing that all day. Just dropping down and instantly catching bluegill. I think it's safe to say I probably caught 20 bluegill so far. Just out of this one hole. Doing the same technique, just letting it sink to the bottom, then bringing it up just about a foot. Sometimes not even, maybe just like six inches. And look at that, another bluegill. All these honestly are good eater size, but like I said, I don't like killing things if I don't have to. And um, I brought chips today if I get hungry. So I really don't need to kill any bluegill just to make a catch and cook today. But that's not to say I'm not going to do a catch and cook. Eventually. I still am going to do a catch and cook eventually, just I don't think today. I'm not very hungry. If the wax worm's still on, I'll still get one. Yep, got one. Oh, this one was fighting. This is like the smallest one of the day and it almost fought the hardest. But, another one down. Nope, still could be on. Got him. Ooh, this is fighting a little bit harder. Whoa, no wonder why. Look at the size of this bluegill. Oh, he choked this little jig. <laughs> That's awesome. That's probably one of the biggest of the day. Probably about eight, seven, eight inches. Good eater size, but I, like I said before, I'm not trying to kill fish. I got a tip up, guys. I didn't really notice it, so he could be off by now. He's probably been on for a while. Oh no, he's on, he's on. Missed him. Or snap my line? Ah, uh, that's why I missed him. He got so many weeds.
Guys, I'm going to be so disappointed if my camera didn't pick up that fight in that massive pickerel. I brought my camera over here, I set it up, and I was fighting with this giant, probably three pound pickerel. One of the biggest pickerel I've caught in a while. And every time I got to the, pole, the hole, it would just make runs. And it took me literally like probably two and a half minutes to get it up to the hole and catch it. And then I look at my camera and it says memory card full. So I really, really, really hope I got that fight in giant pickerel on camera. I, I, I'm going to have to go home and watch the footage. I'm so disappointed right now. That was the biggest fish of the day. Bigger than that almost three pound bass. Way longer, real chunky. It was probably a little bit heavier, probably like three, three, just over three pounds I'd say, but man, that was a big pickerel and I can't believe I don't have it on camera. Like, and I don't have my GoPro either because my GoPro crapped the bed. Like my pocket was wet and when I put my GoPro in my pocket, my GoPro got wet. And so now my GoPro is ruined, which is ridiculous. I've had it for two years now, no problems. And I put it in my pocket one time and oh my God, there's a tip up. It went up right behind me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh. All right, this time I know it's gonna be on camera. Oh. Whatever it is, is not very big. Dang it. No, why? The pickerel today are hitting like crazy. I never, every time I go ice fishing, I haven't really hit pickerel yet until today. And this is like my seventh or eighth pickerel. Oh, flag, another flag. Oh my goodness, it's coming in hot and heavy. Oh! So many flags, so little time. Come on, baby. Oh, he's on, he's on. Got him. Ah, little guy. That's what I like about bass. They don't swallow my stuff in about a second. But here's another bass for you guys. This is probably like, this has to be close to 20 fish today. Just largemouth and pickerel. I'm not even talking about the 20, 30 bluegill I caught today. Today has been an insane day ice fishing. And tomorrow I'm going ice fishing and I think it's gonna be just as good. I think I got a flag. All the way down there, I think I got one. Come on, baby. Work those legs. Work those legs. Whoa! Yeah, it's definitely a flag. It's definitely a flag. I don't know how long it's been up. Whoa! All right, I may have fallen. I may not have fallen. I need to get to this step up. Come on. He's on. Got him. Feels heavy. Nice bass. That was a nice bass. Minnow died unfortunately, but that is another bass today. Good size. This has to be the number like 22 today. So many bass, so many pickerel. Like I said before guys, this has been an insane day of ice fishing. Just non-stop action all day. This is why I come out and ice fish all day long. Let's put it back. All right guys, it's been pretty slow for the past probably half an hour, so I haven't gotten any flags or bites. But today has been an insane day of ice fishing. 
I really don't think I'm going to forget this day for a long time. I have not caught this many fish in one day, actually, in a long time, and I'm ice fishing, no less. I used up two dozen shiners to catch like a 20, 20 bass and pickerel, and then I used some wax worms and caught probably like 20 or 30 bluegill today, so it was literally an insane day of ice fishing. I don't know, man, I just can't believe it. I caught some big ones today, too, which was nice. But I think I'm going to start slowly picking up. I don't really have that much time left. Maybe like an hour at most. Hit that subscribe button for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.